Hi, I'm Lorraine Westbrook. I'm a nurse here at Spring Hill Medical. I work in case management. I want to talk a little bit about my diabetes and how I handle it and manage it. I've been diabetic since 2002 uh, after my open heart surgery. Uh, kind of was in a little bit denial because I didn't think I had diabetes. But after thinking about the signs and symptoms I had with the tingling of the feet and kind of a little bit neuropathy going on, thirsty all the time, just ate ice all the time. So you tend to, after you've been there a while, you know what's, uh, whether your sugars are up and whether they're down, that goes along with time. Okay, I'm going to go through what I do as preparation for my morning. And the first thing I do before I get up is uh, check my sugars about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. And I have my lancet and uh, my trigger for my lancets. And I change it out every time I get ready to do a different reading. I uh, have my strip. So I check the expiration date, make sure we're not uh, expired for that. And so I'll do the, uh, the finger either on either side rather than in the middle. That's less painful. I keep mine on four because that's a comfort level for me to do it on four. I change, change fingers frequently because you don't want it to be you're doing the same finger, you end up with a lot of punctures there, may get infected. Uh, Sometimes you get where you use the same finger where the blood flow is not there, so you're not getting enough blood, so it won't be a true reading. So you want to do that, and so uh, that's how I do it. <laughs> this is the freestyle meter. This is the Lancet and the Lancet device. And I'm going to load the Lancet device. I'm going to take the cap off. I'll stick the Lancet in. I hear that click. Then I'm going to twist the cap off. Then I'll put the cap back on the Lancet device. And I'm ready for my finger stick. This is the AccuCheck Nano. This is the Lancet device. And this is the Lancet drum. And I'm going to load the Lancet device. I'll just take the top off. Drop the drum inside until it's flush. Then I'll put the cap back on and it's loaded. I'm ready to do my finger stick. On this AccuCheck Nano, I'm ready for my finger stick. I'm going to make sure this circle is firm against my finger. I'm going to place it firm against my finger and I push the end to do the finger stick. Once I've done my finger stick, I need to reload my Lancet device. So I'll click over and back. And my number changes. Now I have five Lancets in this drum. This AccuCheck Nano and this drum, which has the Lancets, has six Lancets in this drum. Once it's done and you take it out of your Lancet device, you'll get this pink strip. This is the only Lancet it can go directly in the trash. All other lancets are made for other meters. Has to go into a sharps container or a closed container. This is the contour next. And this is the lancet device and the lancet. And I'm going to take the cap off the lancet device. I'll take the lancet and go straight down until I hear it click and then I'll twist the cap off.
And I'm going to take the cap, put it back on, and I'm ready for my finger stick. This is the One Touch Ultra Mini. This is the Lancet device, and this is the Lancet. I'm going to take my cap off. I'm going to load the Lancet just straight in until I hear it quit, and I'll twist it off. And I'm going to put my cap back on. And I'm ready for my finger stick. So I start off with, this is my little trigger for my lancets. And I keep mine on four. That's a comfort level for me. And it's good to know which number to put it on so that way you're not too afraid to stick your finger and I always stick on either side uh, versus in the middle so that I know it's not going to hurt and plus I get a true reading uh, by doing it on the side. Uh, before I stick I use my alcohol and um, do my finger and let it dry. I'm gonna do the and I had already put my uh, little lancet in here. All right. And that didn't hurt at all. <laughs> now, um, put my strip in. And it doesn't take that long for you to read and wait on your little thing to come up and show that uh, you need to put some blood on there. And it'll start reading. Okay. 168. So that's pretty good. <laughs> Since it's noon time after lunch. All right. Some of the machines, or maybe all of them, have them where it's stored in there, but you really don't want to rely on that in case the battery go down. But you got it written down, you got that. Also, I wouldn't so much let somebody use mine because that mess up your data because you got yours and theirs in the machine. Being successful with managing your diabetes, myself personally, I, you know, have a fear of going on dialysis. And there's a lot of other complications that come up with not having your uh, diabetes where it needs to be. So you find something that maybe gives you a fear of uh, complication like the dialysis or amputation or uh, open heart surgery and stuff, vascular surgery. Something that you know you don't want to deal with and that will make you more successful with managing your diabetes. <laughs>